for what you are giving us. I give them a little content that somebody will be willing to listen to. Forget this color you wear, you can wear color and be coil. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. They will content. So, then, let me also tell you about after the looking content, you must pray. In the beginning of every year, when I have the look content, number one, I didn't have places to preach in the Midwest, in where I come from. So, every year, I will rank the churches, the places I expect to preach. Well, don't want this your crossover to take over. What do you put there that you're going to take over? So December 31st and before December 31st, I will write down what I want in the new year. I will write the names of the pastors and the places where this message I have cooked should be preached. And the desires of the righteous shall be granted. And you are your greatest prophet. The problem with most of you is that you are very shy to ask for. You are very, you have social acrophobia. Your branch, your denominations have categorized you as rural pastors, as social pastors, and because of that, you evaluate your messages based on the designation that your denomination has given to you. If a musician like Portable, how many of you know Portable? Yes, yes. Portable, yes. Yes. If a musician like Portable can become a celebrity by coming in contact with a producer and then coming in contact with the big banner to advertise the global Peters, and now he's going for a competition in the United States, yes. that one this kind of church and in this locality is not the definition of the circumference of your influence. It is the imagination, the creation of nations and images in nations, the imagination mm -hmm. that will determine the extent that they can reach. When I got to, when I got to be the pastors here, I don't attend the event. One day they came and they said they suspended me, and I said I suspended you. That's crazy. But when they needed somebody to preach a societal message, a message that can kill somebody, they came to look for me. But I didn't know that I'm a madman. <laughs> and when I preached the message, the bishop, they got born again, again. But I didn't eat their food, I didn't drink their water. Because many are called few are wizards. <laughs> Some of your greatest enemies are pastors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's only Jesus that can lay down his life and pick it up again. Me, I lay it once in his face. I hold it tight. Very well. So, content. I developed materials. I bought materials from my content. CD, duplicator. I record in my house. It was not easy. It was not easy. One of the days I was recording a message. My son, who has PhD now, uh, was, my, was my engineer. He would, he would press record and he would run out of the room. Then I would start shouting in my bedroom. In the midnight, when people would start shouting to record. Then he came in, he put the cassette, he didn't press uh, record. I shouted and shouted and shouted, turned it, shouted. They only play it. They want to do. They did not press record. So that's so. What happened? The honorarium they were giving to me, and the things. I also spoke to print, established a printing press. So I'm a printing press. From the honorarium they were giving to me, God told me that this money they are giving to you is not based on you. That they are giving to your ministry. And your ministry belongs to your children's children. That I should invest this money in such a way that my children's children will see. And my grandchild is attending my school. Living in a very good house. I pay my 
my daughter who runs the school, a hundred thousand naira a month salary, lives in three bedroom flat with solar panel, and uh, she doesn't buy food. Yeah. She's how? Any morning, John is the uh, events uh, that I gave to me. All those people you know, for you, they give to me. I label it. I will give to my wife to keep. I saved like a slave. Before somebody dashed me those suits, I was always wearing a crown. I had only two shoes. I don't wear wristwatches. I have only this tough link till today. I don't have any gold. I don't have any coral bead like my people. So when I come to preach here, number one, for you to be rich, I decide to discover that most rich people are very frugal. Whatever money they spend, it's an infinitesimal part of their money, very strong. So I had preachers who were coming with me. They were coming to GK and they would charge an airport tax to come. Me, I would enter four together from LM. I would enter a golf ring to uh, left uh, to this case, um, I will carry the books because I started writing books too as I developed on them. I will carry the books on my shoulder, the cassette on my shoulder, the bag on my head, enter bike to cross from the Rumokoro side to the other side where I will get the cast. My shoulders will peel. Sometimes I will enter from Ele Yalimini to Ele the main town motorcycle. On my way to our way, all keep way. My shoulders will peel. As I sit on the motorbike, that is when the rain goes into fall. As it will start raining, water will be entering my eyes. It is then that I will see one doctor driving past with his messages to the Nigerian Medical Association sister. And then the devil will come and evangelize him. You see, he said, You were called. Are you sure you are really called? That's from me, asking you. But if you must make money, you must be dead. You must be dead and determined. They told the way you shut the door against yourself. Many of the things I did that made me to become whom I am now were below my status as a medical doctor, were below my status as a preacher that people knew. So I would enter the vehicle from element to the park. I will enter Okada close to GK then I will start trekking to the place that I don't see that I can do. And then they will come and usher me. But my friend that was chartering airport taxi to come has not built the house till today. It's still doing big work. When I called the bus station now, I told them to reserve it. I live right now. I, I have the helops. That was given to me as a gift. I have a seven cigar pack rider. I have, I have eight other vehicles. I have seven drivers. But I will not drive now. I will try to pay the 8,000 and 8,200 I paid to reach here. They will come and when they came to carry me, people were surprised that I was a big boy. I prefer to do that so that I can conserve money. So I leave a very frugal life of conservation of money and saving. So I was able to buy properties. Because when I got them, God told me that properties were going to be expensive that I should buy now. All these areas were bush when I was in this time. So any wise man would have bought a lot of properties then. So when my niece were buying clothes, buying suits, the one that was laughing at me that I was not dressing well. I had one of them, he would go to the US and come back and he would display money. I would spray my perfume and be laughing. Let me tell you the history of my perfume. One day I sprayed that perfume and uh, I went to preach. The girl in the petrol station asked me, Daddy, this is your perfume. I would want to say yes. So what is the name? I said, Lapid. <laughs> Then I went and sat near a bishop, very flamboyant bishop, always well dressed. 
to sue. So he has to say, stop or this stop the film. Now, what? We will reach 10,000, I laugh. You know how much? That time it was 450. Made by Starlight. Yeah. So if I buy a lapid and I buy another product, 450, 450, I spray them with design. But I know somebody who was buying perfume, 20,000 for one, 18,000 for one. My money is, I was using them to buy land, I was using them to mold block, I was using them to build. So as of today, there's no pastor. No denomination, including winners, Sapan from Anglican and Catholic, that has more property than me in the I was trekking, I was buying. I was a tenant, I was buying. I was wearing only a crap, and then I sent clothes to laundry until just recently. I was wearing only one shoe, I was buying. So, frugality and reinvestment of the money you get always reinvest it so that it is the grandchildren of the money that you spend. Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, the next thing is uh, I develop integrity. In any church I preach, I don't call the members, I don't go back to them. I don't relate them with them. So they kept calling me. It was very important. Let me share some things with you that I had I shared it yesterday. My children could not get tissue paper to use because they were not used to using cement or newspaper. They grew up as I bought at this time. So it is the tissue paper they give to me in hotels. Is the soap they give to me in hotels? Is the food that John is this wine and the band say go go down here to will bring that I will eat only small, freeze the remaining one, and I will carry it home for my children to 